I wanted to prove everybody wrong. And I like literally lost myself in the moment. I lost yeah. myself. Yep. And I got all the way to the championship that year and lost. And the reason I, I knew we, uh, afterwards, I was like, we lost because I wasn't. You start playing. I, I wasn't even there. You start. Let's talk about the great uh, LeBron James. Why does my man lose? Like, let's Dang. let's let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Um, he recently was uh, there was a new episode of The Shop, which is on YouTube. Full episodes, really dope. Um, and they were talking about why LeBron James lost when he went to Miami and lost that championship. And he took full ownership, but it was very interesting to hear what happened. So, let's listen to it. You can't really give a fuck about what people say no more. Because everybody gonna right. critique everything that you do, no matter what you do. That shit will creep into your mind. No matter if you believe it or not. It's right. wasted energy. Yeah, it's wasted energy. My yeah. first year in Miami, I was down there, like I was literally like, I wanted to prove everybody wrong. And I like literally lost myself in the moment. I lost yeah. myself. Yep. And I got all the way to the championship that year and lost. And the reason I, I knew we, uh, afterwards, I was like, we lost because I wasn't. You start playing. I, I wasn't even there. You start. Mm. So this is interesting to me because I'm petty, right? So my motivation is. Sometimes, not all the times, I'm working on it, people. I'm working on it. Um, is sometimes the doubt that people have of me or the ability of something to happen, I'm going to be like, mm -mm, nope, I'm going to show you, right? But I never thought of it in a standpoint that it's so much in your head that it's actually the obstacle of you really accomplishing anything that you want to do or proving them right because you're so much involved with what people are saying that you completely lose focus. And I, I like that. He said, you know, that, that was all me, that, that loss, why we didn't win the finals. I know exactly what happened. It was because I allowed people to get in my head and, not win because of my team, not win because we made it this far. I'm trying to win to prove them wrong. And that shouldn't be the, the purpose. What is the real purpose of why you're doing what you do and continue to stay focused on that? What people are going to say is always going to fluctuate. They could like you one day. They could hate you the next then they love you, and then they want you to die the next time. I'm very dramatic, but it is true. It's very true. So with, with that in mind, you can't depend on unstable support. You can't depend on an unstable motivation. Like, the purpose has to always be in play. And once he like figured out like, yo, I'm not, I can't listen to y'all. I got to do this because of a bigger reason. And then it started to make sense. And he won championships in Miami after that, that first year was a little rough, but we, it, it, it's so much, and I'm not going to play like it's, it's a, it's easier said than done to say, yo, don't listen to people. Especially going back on what Tyler said, where, you know, bump the sneak peek and everything like that. But we are in a audience experience, like, kind of vibe. Like some of our brands, yeah. So some of our brands are created around that. Now, in order to... uh sell tickets sometimes you got to cater you you got to cater to the audience right now when it comes to a sports standpoint the only way you can cater to them is if you continue to win 
right? So it's not it's not like um no, it kind of is. So in boxing, if we think about Floyd, if we thinking about Bum Floyd, if we think about a Logan Paul, if we think about the Paul brothers, some of us are going and buying pay-per-view or going over there to see if they lose. Right? But it's because they continue to win is why now we're going to, this, to, to purchase to see if they lose. So you still have to continue to win and understand as you grow, there are going to be haters. There are going to be people who are not going to agree with what you do and what you say and how you go about it. That's as you go. In the beginning, it's sweet because you get all the support. Then you grow and then you start getting support from people you don't know. That's a different feeling. But eventually you're going to get to a point where it's like, yo, I don't, I don't really rock with you. I don't like, I don't like how you do this. I don't think you can do this. That's never been done. Boohoo, what all this stuff, right? And it's more of, yo, what's what's the goal? What's what are we doing? Why are we here? Because I'm going to continue as I succeed to get more of these. So I, I can't listen. But how do I close out not listening from the beginning so it could help me at the end? Yeah. This is, this is, I, I, I'm always, I don't want to say fascinated, but I, I'm very interested in this topic, right? Okay. Because... Like, I like what you're saying, right? To some extent, I'm hearing make, make the opinion the fuel, not the goal. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's like, I can't make, I can't lose sight of my goal and make people's opinion or even the desire to prove them wrong become the goal. Because now I'm not working toward my goal. I'm working to their opinion of me. Mm-hmm. So like, I'll never forget probably one of my favorite bars that I heard E said, and it was at this year's 120 where he said, you, you're trying to show nobodies that you're somebody. Mm. And I was like, dang, Mm. like here we are working so hard trying to prove to a bunch of nobodies that we're somebody. Mm. And it's like, for what? Like there, there, it just don't even, it don't even add up or make sense. So and my philosophy is the only place opposites attract is in science. Mm. It doesn't, it doesn't happen in business. It doesn't happen when it comes to your goals or what you're after. What you need in, in business is alignment. Right. So, so you want to carry yourself in a way that's in a, it, that's in alignment with the thing that you're after. So this concept of, oh, I'm going to use negative energy to help me produce positive outcomes. I've never, I've never seen that actually work. There are very few people who use the noise and can make it turn out to be something great. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, and again, as I'm listening to you talk, I'm like, yo, it actually makes sense because you're not saying you make the noise the goal. You're like, no, I just, I'll take some, some fuel from it, yeah, yeah. but I'm still focused on the goal. Yeah. You know? So it's like, okay, that, that, I think that makes more sense. But yeah, I, I, we, we got to figure out like, man, what, what is it about other people's opinions of us become so attractive? Like, like we're like, you know, like just so itching to, to satisfy it, to prove them wrong or to like be liked by them. Mm-hmm. That's 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 a uh, it's cancerous. I I still think I still think that comes from how we did school. Now, what I mean by that is school and uh, social media, and even just feedback in general, is something that was instilled in us. We did something. We handed it in. We got feedback whether it was a grade, whether it was markups, whatever it is. And we've been, now that makes us stronger of a person, but to see that this is the difference. This is an supposedly expert, because the teacher is an expert, 
of this is what you did right, this is what you did wrong, right? Mm -hmm. But we've always had that. Like, we do something, we seek approval or uh, a grading system of how we did, right? We give it to our parents. Here's our report cards. We seek approval of what we did. We go to school, unless you were in a uh, private or Catholic school, like I was, you go, you wear certain clothes, you seek for approval, mm. right? Or you get clowned. Okay. So now with social media, the way you seek for approvals, how many followers you have, how many people are engaging, how many people are looking at your stuff, how many people are buying your stuff. That's still, I submit something and I'm looking for approval, right? I'm looking for feedback. Now if we're looking from a, from a, a, an athletic standpoint, we make it to the league we're seeking for approval from the coaches. We're seeking for approval from the fans to buy our stuff. We're seeking for, like, it mm. almost seems as if the things we do is always seeking for approval. Now, it is a very strong individual, which is why not everybody can get this, of killing the noise of always needing approval and always needing feedback and just doing what you are supposed to do or what you feel is the next wave of things and go about it because you are confident enough that you can do it. It goes based off what LeBron was kind of saying. It goes based off what Tyler was kind of saying. Like there still needs to be a level of confidence that, okay, it'd be great if you you liked it, but I, it doesn't sway me one way or the other because I understand the goal and the results that I need to get. So this is great if you do like it. This is great if you're on my team. This is great if you support the project. This is great if you support the team, but I don't mm. need you. And that's very hard for some people because since we were young, we were seeking for approval. Yeah. 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 That's deep. That's deep. When you tie it, when you tie it, you know, into the root that far back, it's like, yeah, we were literally trained to have somebody say, yes. Okay. Good job. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's, that's, that's crazy. Just a thought. Just a thought. Just a thought.